Week three gets underway then at Cheltenham headquarters for the jump racing with a three mile novice chase and the top one is Rosini's McCavity. David Hooley winner last time. Amazing Grace Joshua Sutherland first and second so far this season. So hard floozy for James Shea's already won as well. Barolo Viking Martin Lidham. Bedtime stories Greg Beckwith and Gates of Dawn Leon Van Rensburg have both been on the deck once. Good time in Ryan Tamasevi. Simons Wood, Darren Thompson. James Rose. John Morgan. Junk in the trunk ages for David Robertson. Pretty storm for Craig Beckwith and Renvar Prospect for Hems. They're called in and away they go. Uh, making their way towards the first of the fences in week three. And uh, James Rose is the early leader from Good Time in second and Renval Prospect in third. Renval Prospect who refused, according to the card last time out. The closest to us with the white sleeves is, is um, Pretty Storm, who's just the stable companion of the back marker. And they got out of that first fence and sorted themselves out now. Then and the two, two have gone clear. And those two are James Rose and Good Time in. James Rose in the light. Blue, sky blue jacket as they get over the water for John Morgan, who's got a very small stable this season, but will still get his fair share of winners, I'm sure. And the new kid on the block in second, Ryan Tamasevi, who's come back into the league after a few years away and has started off like a hurricane. He's in second at the moment, gap of about three or four lengths back to Barolo Viking, who's just showing third on the outside as they get over fence number four. One that's made good ground around the outside there is Pretty Storm. It was towards the back earlier on. But it's James Rose who continues to lead by about a length, length and a quarter to Good Time in second. Then gap of three lengths back to Renvar Prospect has now moved through to third as they take this big ditch. Uh, they're all safely over that one with bedtime story still just the back marker. Just the one grey in this race today. That's Junk in the Trunk Ages who's one off the back. So they take. Fence number six, which they've all safely negotiated, and James Rose has now opened up a good lead of about three lengths or so as they race downhill and swing left-handed back towards the home straight shortly, and James Rose is the leader. And a comfortable margin popping over number seven. A slower jump by Good Time and has seen that one relegated into third as Amazing Grace has moved up into second. So far, Floozy's made a move into fourth, and then Renvar Prospect on the inside. Pretty Storm on the outside. The purple jacketed Rosini's McCavity is next with Gates of Dawn in the yellow cap on the rail as they take number eight. And the grey made a mistake there. That was junking the trunk edges. Brolo Viking has also dropped right out the back. And making their way down towards the next end. They're inside the final two miles now. And James Rose is clear, but only by about three lengths now. Then to Good Time and an Amazing Grace have raced together second and third. Gap of a couple of lengths then back to Renvar Prospect. Gates of Dawn so half losing. Pretty Storm is after that one. Then Rosini's with Cavity. Simons Wood is now the one closest to us in the maroon with the white sleeves. Barolo Viking being pushed into that fence to get over it a little bit quicker and bedtime stories on that one's inside and the back marker junk in the trunk ages so they're racing past the big screen then now this will be the last on the next circuit and they're all still on their feet and they've negotiated half of the fences as they swing left-handed and we see them there from the winning line going around the turn there taking the inner of the two courses and making their way towards the back straight and James Rose is the clear leader by four to Good Time in second and Amazing Grace in third. Renvar Prospect is fourth, creeping close to his Gates of Dawn in fifth. Then So Half Floozy and Simons Wood and Rosini's McCavities after that one as they get over the next. And they're all safely over that one with Barolo Viking, the back marker. That one's been front running for the last few weeks. I don't quite know why that one is running at the back today. Uh, James Rose for John Morgan comes to the water and over that one they all get as we knew they would. And James Rose is clear. Good time and has now got second all to himself again with Amazing Grace back in third and Renvar Prospect fourth as they take this ditch. And again, these novices are jumping really well. The novices seem to jump better than the open horses in the SO League. I don't know why but, uh, as they pop over the next. I think it may be down to the fact that one or two trainers in the past have suggested that they actually upload their best horses as novices because there are better prizes to be won as a novice. Sure, that's still the case. I don't know what a few were doing that a few years ago as they get to this ditch, then which they're all over. They're not all over because Pretty Storm has gone. I was just being a little bit too quick on the all jumping well mark remark there. And Pretty Storm is out of it as they take this next plain one and they're all safely over that one. And James Rose is the leader still, not really been headed yet. About a length to the good. 
Bron, good timing in second. Renvar Prospect is creeping closer in third. Then Amazing Grace Gates of Dawn has now been pulled to the outside. Then Soha, Floozy and Simons will junk in the trunk. Ages is making a forward move as they get over that one. That's the first time the leader's made a mistake and as she's now lost the lead. So James Rose really hit that one hard and good timing has now gone on by a couple. James Rose trying to regain her equilibrium and come back with another challenge. The one that's cutting through the pack there like a knife through butter is Simons Wood as they skip over that next one. And the race is on in earnest now then as they pass the four pole and good timing is clear by about three lengths but chasing hard Gates of Dawn and Simons Wood. James Rose now looks beaten. It's it's Gates of Dawn that's coming out of the pack that's going to try and challenge good timing I think as they begin the swing towards home they've got two more fences to take and it's good timing in the lead. Good timing from Gates of Dawn in second. Renvar Prospect trying to wear them down so to his amazing grace I think we can forget the rest. Simons Wood run was disappointing as they get over the second last then and over that one a really good jump by Amazing Grace is half the deficit between second and third, but it's good timing now being challenged by Gates of Dawn as they come to the final fence and over it they go and Gates of Dawn a slow jump and here comes Amazing Grace on the outside. Rosini's McCavity was a faller, but it's Amazing Grace into the final furlong from Renvile Prospect. It's now between these two and it's Amazing Grace who looks strong enough and he's pulling away in fact as they get up towards the line. Amazing Grace takes it from Renvile Prospect in second, Gates of Dawn third. Good timing is going to be fourth. James Roses would not again to be fifth. Then Simon's wooden bedtime stories and junk in the trunk ages and so half floozy and finally Barolo Viking. So a race that totally changed complexion between the final two fences and the long time leader good timing went out pretty tamely and Amazing Grace a really good jump at the last probably sealed the win and Renvar Prospect went on well. So Amazing Grace then the winner for Joshua Sutherland, Renvar Prospect for Craig Allen was second, Gates of Dawn, Leon Van Rensburg third, good timing Ryan Tamasebi fourth, and James Rose for John Morgan was fifth.